Hello and welcome to my uh, Curly Photography YouTube channel. Today I'm going to start with <coughs> editing a picture, a portrait actually, of a very beautiful girl and I'm gonna make it black and white with a special effect, a very simple one, that gives, uh, gives it a tone of uh, old. You will understand what I'm talking about soon. So first of all I'm going to go to File and open. I've saved the pictures I want to edit on the desktop in a folder. I'm going to one second look for it. My curly photography, yes. Um, this is the picture we're going to be making and the original is this one, the JPEG I'm going to choose. We also have RAW but in another video. So basically It takes a little bit to take the picture in. Okay, basically this is the portrait. The picture is beautiful as it is. You can see and it has no, absolutely no editing done. I'm also a beginner photographer, so you can understand the model did the work. It's Christina's. Um, work. Uh, we're going to start with a new layer, Ctrl J on the keyboard and follow this very three very simple three steps to get to the picture I was talking about basically we go down here and we choose first of all levels now what are the levels gonna do if by any chance you have in your picture areas with too big lights overexposed or too big dark areas so dark that you don't understand what's under you're gonna go here and fix with the middle arrow you're gonna play a little bit with it and fix the light it's very easy to understand when you came to the point when you where you understand all the areas that were dark and it's as clear as they can be but also you you protect the very big lights you don't want to overexpose them so so you get rid of the shadows with this simple uh, effect now we're going to go to basically turn the picture into black and white gradient map and we choose with a click here in the color we choose the black and white of course here with the two arrows in one and the other corner, you have the color stops. So as much as you want to take the picture to a more dramatic look in, in, uh, in black and white, but not only, you just take the arrow and you move it a little bit towards the middle. We speak about the black one now. And you understand immediately how the black becomes, becomes more black, the dark area, areas actually. If you go and you do the same thing with the white, you see how it, it's put, it puts pressure on the light areas. But as I said before, we don't want to overexpose the light areas and we don't want to over darken. We still have to take care to understand what's, what's under, somewhere around here. Fits me. You're gonna have to see on the pictures you work what works best and how much so that you won't destroy the picture. Push OK. Now uh, we are gonna go to the final step, like I said, and we're gonna take this black and white picture to to a little bit uh, to to an effect of the old periods, old times. Um, we go to saturation and we have the lightness so basically this is what we're gonna work with if you go a little bit up with the lightness you immediately understand what I talk about and you understand that you saw this in many pictures on the internet uh, quotes uh, basically all, all these informations that you that they're shared in the social media and they have this kind of pictures, especially for inspirational quotes, for uh, 
uh, emotional stories. It, it's it's something that takes us in the past. This is how I understand it at least. So basically you see that if you go down, you can also darken the whole effect. But we are looking for something like this. You're going to see up to the point that you think it fits you. I'm going to stop right here. So this is the picture edited as I wanted to show you with this tutorial. Now, the last steps are to, of course, go to save as. Save the picture. You have the folder. You choose the folder you want to put it in. You select what you want to save it as. If you want to keep the steps that you worked on and you want to come back maybe in the future to change something in the editing, you save it as PSD. That's a Photoshop uh, format and it's going to help you keep everything that you see here in the sides. So you can basically really go back and edit it. But I'm going to choose JPEG, save. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I didn't name it. So it's Christina, black and white. Save. And now you're going to do the last step, that means choosing what is the what is the dimension that you afford, that you want, that you're looking for. I advise to choose the bigger one, the biggest one, with the ma maximum quality. This is 4.3 megabytes in my case, just because you might make it smaller if you're going to need it in the future. But from small, bigger, very, very complicated. So... Basically, it comes to two, 300 kilobytes. This is good. This I, is what I use for my website when I want to upload pictures. And you have the limit and you want to still keep the deepness. That's the, the pixels. That's going to be another tutorial, tutorial uh, that you're going to find with how you can resize the picture, how much you need it for websites usually, how much it's recommended. Anyway, so I'm gonna choose large file and okay. So basically the picture is saved. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed this and you found it interesting. And if it is like that, I invite you to subscribe and to follow my videos and maybe suggest if there's anything else you would like to see and you didn't find in my list of, list of videos. Bye-bye.